Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> hey, everyone, it's the four gun guy. And actually, I didn't. My wife did. Uh, look, this is going to be a very interesting video because if you watched my video on my uh, Bushnell Forge binoculars, I made a statement in there and I was almost going to cut it into this video, but I made a statement in there that I think these are the last spotting devices I said that I'm, I'm going to need. And you know what? I was right. I thought they were going to be the last spotting devices or binoculars that I was going to use. And I was very happy with those. Very happy. Well, as uh, what happens sometimes, uh, I am at a match. I look through binoculars. I go, wow. I come home. I talk to my wife. You know, and I just tell her. I just mention something about them. <clears throat> and the next thing you know, it's my birthday. And uh, yeah, so this is what, uh, this is the present the four gun guy got from his beautiful wife on his birthday. Now, to hold true with the way I am, though, I did tell her uh, I'm going to sell some things. So I already did sell the Bushnell Forge scopes. And I had a couple pistols laying around that I just hadn't shot in a while. So I said, hey, I'm going to sell those things too. So I'm staying true to my, to my promise to myself and to you guys is that, you know, I'm, I'm trying to stay net, net, net here, right? With, uh, with selling some things to pay for some things, even though she surprised me with these. Uh, that was a fantastic birthday gift. So what I wanted to do today is just go through some, you know, the, the uh, Swarovski uh, binoculars here. Then let's talk about, you know, what comes with these, what comes in the box. I also want to do a little side thing here on the different devices to hook up to these things, right? Uh, that might help you a little bit. Uh, I want to get just some brief views through them. I'm not taking these to the range. I did hook them up in the backyard, so if you have seen my other videos, you know I've got that pipeline easement back there with telephone poles. So I did hook my phone up to it. We'll get some looks through that. Uh, and then we'll have some final thoughts. So if you're ready to go, let's get to it. let's do just a real brief unboxing. First off, I mean, it's quality through, through and through. Uh, you open these things up. I am going to tell you right now, I did not think they came with this case, but they do. They come with this case. I ordered one from Midway, I think it was, and I'm going to have to send it right back. So they've got a beautiful case they come with. It has strap capabilities, so it's got those. And then, of course, these things are just gorgeous. Now, I already put the lens caps on, but it comes with the two front lens caps that just, you know, slide right over. And I like this because there's not a, uh, you know, there's not a pivot down here or a pin or anything like that, that that can break. And then I've got to find replacements. If I need to replace these, I just order these. It also comes with what I think is a really neat feature in this rear lens cap. A lot of these rear lens caps are just solid, right? They're solid. This is, this is how they are. But with this one, it actually flows with your binoculars. So the lens cap stays on no matter how you're, you're opening or closing the binoculars. Uh, they're beautiful. And then, of course, it comes with some other stuff. Uh, instruction manual. It comes with a... Uh, larger strap and then a strap for the case itself. So this is just a neck strap. And then it comes with, this is interesting, soap and a brush. So it comes with a soap and brush kit. And this is actually for the outside of the binoculars. It is not to be used on the lens. Uh, so that's, uh, that's really what, what comes in the box. Has a nice instruction manual. And that's about it. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the functionality here because it's, it's, it's kind of unique and cool how they've got this set up. And I hope this, uh, this is going to adjust. So basically what you do is, you know, on other binoculars, you've got, uh, you 
you folk, you might hold your right eye closed, let's say, unless both eyes are exactly the same, mine are not. So in other binoculars, you would keep both eyes open and you would just, you know, adjust the focus. These are a bit different, or you would adjust the focus with the left eye open and the right eye closed. Then you would come to this uh, right ocular and you would adjust it, right? Opening your right eye. So then both eyes are adjusted accordingly. This is different. What with, the, with these, you're going to, or at least I'm going to keep my left eye open, focus it. When I'm done with that, I'm going to pop this out. This adjustment knob pops out. You can hear it. And then I'm going to adjust with my right eye. And there are, there are clicks. And I really like that. Once you get the right eye done, you can open both eyes, make sure everything's focused, you're down. And now, when you go out to distance, for example, and you operate the focus knob, it, it operates both in tandem. So you don't have to keep readjusting. Really, really nice feature. Now these are the SLC 15 by 56s. And again, I can give myself some eye relief here if I need to give myself eye relief. And those are pretty tactile and they stay in place, which I like. They're not just, you know, rotating and, and they'll rotate back in. I love the ergonomics of this. It's got the it's got the little indents here for your thumbs. So as you're bringing them up, your thumbs right there, right? Looks good. And so from that perspective, functionality, unboxing and everything, I think these are really some quality uh, binoculars. But you know what it all boils down to? It all boils down to the glass. Well, before we get some views through these beautiful binoculars, Let's talk a little bit about some of the specs on these things. So I'm not going to go through everything, but I did want to go through, you know, what? They're 15 magnification, 56 millimeter objective. Um, they have a good field of view, and I'm going to keep these eye cups pretty much in all the time because I notice when I pull them out, of course, uh, my field of view tightens up, and I love that wide field of view with them in. So I'm probably going to keep them in a lot. 93% um, light transmission and a 29 twilight factor. Really what that's talking to is the fact that if you're going to use these for hunting, they're a very good option. Uh, if you're going to be hunting twilight, dawn, and you need to, to, to make out the details during the, that time of day, uh, these are going to be a very good option. I did see on some videos that some other binoculars beat these out just a little bit with the twilight factor. Uh, but again, I don't, I don't shoot that way, so I don't really need them to, uh, to uh, function for that. 13 feet of water, waterproof. Uh, so I guess I could drop them in my pool out back and they'd be okay. Size and weight. Now, size I'm not gonna really worry about. The weight is interesting because it says these are 42.3 ounces. And I didn't weigh them, but I can tell you they don't, they don't feel that heavy, but they are very solid. I mean, when you pick these things up, it's like it's, like it's one chunk of metal, right? Uh, there's no wobbling, there's no wiggling in anything. Not in the adjustments, not in the knobs, not in anything. Very well built, and they've got that rubberized coating on them. Uh, and I already talked about the indents here, which really, really... I love how that, that just your fingers just naturally go there. So I really like the ergonomics of it. Now, if you're going to video through these like I did, you'll want to get a pretty good uh, phone holder. And now this was a cheap Amazon phone holder, and this, this didn't do very well on these. So, uh, and I'm going to do a whole video on this stuff with this, the trigger cam. This is the Nova grade uh, phone holder, and this worked pretty well. I put the right coupling in here, and, and the thing I like about this is it, it really torques down smoothly and easily, so you're not over-torquing on that lens. Uh, and then the phone just naturally goes in there and lines up. It's very easy to line up with this thing. So this is the Nova grade. You might consider that 
if you're going to film through, say, your binoculars. Well, there's kind of the rest of the overview. Let's go ahead and go out in the backyard and let's take some looks through these things uh, and see how clear they are. Well, here we are. A uh, couple things I want you to notice on this is, number one, this is not going to do these justice. I, I, I'm telling you, it's not. But if you look at the very top of the, uh, of the uh, shot here, there is no blurriness at the edge whatsoever. Whatsoever. Uh, look at the detail in the telephone pole there, and that telephone pole is 200 yards away. The one to its right is 250 yards away. The small, the, the one, the two poles that are in the trees there, the one pole to the left of the center pole is uh, 400 and, no, that's 500 yards. And the one to the left of the, of the taller pole on the right is uh, 625. So I can tell you that as I look through this, I can still see the layers of the insulators on the 625 yard pole. You may not be able to, I can. Uh, I, I just cannot get over how clear and clean this glass is. It's, it's unbelievable. And I look, I looked through some last week at the match and uh, I was, that just got me more excited to get these in. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's pretty unbelievable. All right, well, of course, when I start the video, the wind comes up, but uh, look, I just wanted to get some shots through these uh, SLC 15 by 56s. This is uh, out at the range and, and these targets are 650 to I think 750 out. Now, you're not going to get the perspective here, guys, but I'm just here to tell you, these are amazing. I'm going to zoom in using my phone, and let's just, let's just see here. Uh, that's the 650 plates right there. I'm going to try to hold it steady, but this wind is really all over the place. Let's see if I can focus this. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I mean, it's so clear and you can really see that mirage. The mirage is really bad today. But, you know, let me just kind of swing around and show some other targets out here. This is the this is the famous uh, unicorn that we shoot at sometimes right there. He is 687 yards, I think, from here. And uh, yeah, that mirage is unbelievable. But I'm going to zoom all the way out now so you can kind of see what I would be looking at. And I've got my Nova Grade adapter on these things, so I'm only looking through one, uh, one thing here. Here we go. Sorry, screwed that up. But, yeah, it's, it is amazing. Here's some other targets. I want to say this one is... Uh, I just shot this one for something else, and this one was at 675, I think. So there's that one. I'm going to zoom out so you can see. Yeah. But just these things are just beautiful. Just beautiful. Well, there you have it. Short and sweet, the Swarovski. Uh, 15 by 56 SLCs, and uh, I, I just can't believe I'm holding these things in my hand. I mean, I've got the best wife in the world. Uh, she hears me talk about some things, and all of a sudden they're showing up. Um, you know, I think I told you already I'm selling some stuff to make up for some of this money, because if we go through my journey, uh, the Meoptimio stars, the Leupold gold ring, the Athlon uh, spotting scope. And then the last binoculars I had were, were those Bushnell forges. Let's kind of talk about all this. Leupold gold ring, I'd put that at the bottom, even though it's their gold ring, I would put that at the bottom. Uh, Athlon spotting scope, I think that was the 80 millimeter spotting scope, if I recall. 
I'd put that second. I'd put the Meoptas third. And yes, I'd put the Bushnell Forges above the Meopta Mio Stars. And those Mio Stars were beautiful binoculars. But I'm telling you what, those Bushnell Forges, uh, for the money, have some of the clearest glass I've seen until you get behind these. And, and then there's no contest. But the reality of it is, when you're looking at the Meoptas, I can't remember what they are, to be honest with you. I want to say they're 1,500, something like that. Bushnell Forges, 600. And I think they outshine the Meopto Mio Stars. These are uh, a little more expensive than both of those. So these are like four times the Bushnell Forges. So you're looking at, now I think my wife went through um, uh, Euro Optic and used my PRS code and all that stuff. So she got these, I'm going to say around 2100 uh, And yes, that's a lot of money, guys. I know it is. Uh, as I told you before, I wouldn't have spent it, but she did. And uh, so I'm, I'm very happy for that. <laughs> So look, these are an awesome set of binoculars, but if you can't or don't want to pay that money, I would definitely go with the Bushnell Forges. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to use these at my next match and getting out there for spotting. And by the way, I think my wife got them for her because she spots for me and uh, she, she wanted something that she could really look through. And when she looked through these, she just went, she just said, wow. So I can't, can't wait for her to do that. Now, I've got some other stuff coming up. Uh, I've got a trigger cam video I'm working on that, that talks about all this stuff that we're hooking up to scopes and whatnot. I've got a powder load comparison that I'm working up to replace 4895 in case that goes away or I can't find any. So I'm looking at reloader 15.5 and um, uh, IMR 4895. So I'll have that out as well. And then I've got a few other videos, one on wind and a couple more. So I've got a lot going on. I'm going to try to release these things once a week, once every two weeks at the very latest. And uh, yeah, just look forward to my next one. I want to thank all of you again for the likes, subscriptions, the comments. I'm having such great, such a great time uh, replying to the comments that I'm getting on all my videos. And please don't forget, I have over 105 videos out there now. So just because you watch this one doesn't mean there's not something else in there that either might pique your interest or might help you uh, in the shooting sport. So with all that said, thanks again for watching, guys. And until next time, shoot straight.